right, guys. Okay, you see that warm up with Now we go for push. I should be doing upper body, but I want to train some more as well. And usually I rest after my upper body. So we're gonna do like a weird push. Not the same I was doing usually because I can't do the the machines. So push today, probably pull tomorrow. Then we rest and then we do another push pull. Just to make sure I can train a lot and train with my friends at the gym as well. So I haven't bench pressed since last summer here, I remember. I've done like I was having like 50, 70 kilograms and I was doing my gym reps. But I wasn't training at that time. So now it's like three or four months after back to doing some incline bench press. 40 kilograms here is running up. I'm gonna go to 60, the last one up, and probably do a first set of 80. Hopefully, we will get 10 reps. I guess it's a physique, we'll see you later. I'm gonna train like short last, but I'm quite pumped. But I might think that because I did not eat correctly, instead of calorie and just the repetition of the, the macronutrients, I was like not eating enough meals. During the night, I was like last meal of the day. The dinner was always like a lot of calories because of the Christmas dinner every time. But during the day was like uh, like the first day I skipped my vitamins. The second day, so yesterday, I skipped my shaker. So it just like because I postponed the shaker. I was done with the shake uh, with the workout and instead of taking the shaker directly when I'm done with the workout. I was like, okay, I take it later. And at the end of the day. I just keep it. So if you postpone, you most likely uh, not to say that you will skip it. So you shouldn't postpone your shape or anything. Postpone is not great. So we're gonna see how it goes. 60 kilograms here. It's not that heavy, but I did not bench since four months, and before that maybe for a year. So I'm just not used to bench. It's just that fact. But makes me weak. Let's see, 60 with this. We're gonna see with 80. If 80 if is so fucking heavy, I'm weak. If it's really heavy, but that, not that much at the point where I can see to like my sense of 80, it's really good. I guess 80 will be heavy, but a good heaviness. Probably just a top set of 80. Maybe 80, and then we do like some at 70. Yeah. It's like really light. I feel like it's like four years. I'm putting the same weight when I do incline bench press. My chest are really like my weak point. They're not growing at all. I mean, it's like they're growing, but like in a weird way. On this stomach, the size I can lift more than I was doing a few years ago. I put the weight in. We see the first, first working set. Okay, first set. Eighty. Between seven and ten, I guess. Ugh. Shame. Fuck. 
I'm just so weak on the chest. I decided. I have no chest strength. Three. No force, no grind. For three minutes, I was almost dying. I couldn't even go for a fourth one. I would have stayed stuck. Okay, I put 70 because 80, yeah. Shame, but I can't do that. I feel so skinny, so weak. Oh my god, this Christmas. Please okay. take your my calories and gains away. My chest are so weak. I've done last summer. I've done one workout with incline bench press. It was okay since I wasn't training for a month, etc. Now I'm training since three, four months. I gain gains, but I did not do that exercise. But usually you gain gain, you gain muscle, you gain strength. So as you still see a force boost uh, update kind of a strength update on my hip performance. But I feel like you know, like I was like 10 kilogram lighter. So 10 kilogram lighter two years ago, I feel like I was doing the same thing on my chest. I feel like I was lifting. 60, 70, like the same amount of rep, same movement, and I don't understand why. I'm maybe back bigger, have good shoulders, but my chest, I just like, I don't know. Sometimes I like just doubting all my progression. I'm gonna go on gear, I'm gonna take steroids. Oh my god, that's crazy. And my shoulders hurts from the squat yesterday. Because as a jackass, I put my, like not correctly the bar on my back. Because I don't squat low bar, I squat, I squat high bar. So I just put it like not correctly. Oh man. I mean, I'm also training hypertrophy, right? But even though I'm training hypertrophy, I should still move some force and movement. I shouldn't move only 60 kilogram, you know? So, oh, it just sucks. I really don't like this uh, chest. Even though I'm focusing my chest on like over my all other muscles, I feel like chest are still late and they're having really, really hard time to catch up. But you know what? Who cares? So, just gonna go for other sets. But that's. Oh, I really don't know. So 60 kilogram might do and we're gonna go on the dumbbells we we'll see how much I can lift some dumbbells because I have a lot of dumbbells just press so I might know my if it's a good set or not and I can charge easily
it make, makes me think me like I'm like cheesy. Like once I've seen cheesy trying to bench press like a PR, and he is really huge, massive, you know, and he kind of only relatively to his mass benched like three plates on each side so three plates of 45 so of course it's a lot three plates on each side but compared to like the guy or jacked massive he is you can clearly see he's not training strength he's really training hypertrophy i think it's the different because there was people like that looks like a wood stick uh if you put them side by side and they will lift the same weight or even more and I was really surprised like how jacked he is, but how okay, light was his PR bench. And that's like I thought, me, I'm not that skinny, but relatively to how much I can lift, I'm skinny. So if you focus on the weight, I'm not strong. We're gonna go for, uh, I've got four sets here, 180, 170, 260. I'm gonna take the dumbbells and throw three sets there. So we're done with the incline portion. Okay. Let's see. All right, after 20 minutes to build the, the dumbbells, I put 22 kilograms, so maybe it's like 50 LBS just for a warming set. I'm really not familiar with the movement anymore. So like, I can't do it like my elbows, arms are like, ooh, what's going on? I have no stabilization due to the fact I'm not doing this often. I'm gonna go to the 36 kilogram and see how it goes. I will I wanna take 30, 36 kilograms? I can't. I just my brother did not bring me the one I asked to bring, so I can't even build 36. Because there is some problems with those dumbbells and blah blah and some discs and plates Those ones only go there and doesn't go on the other one I'm gonna use So I can't have those two kilograms on each side On one side of the dumbbells on one dumbbell So one dumbbell I could go 36 the other one would be stuck at 32 so it doesn't work So 32 instead Oh it sucks it's like 20 meters later to before my implant chest press Losing the perp Let's see how much To give you a comparison, I was doing on my best form like a few months ago in March. So yeah, nine months ago. I was lifting 40 kilograms per M per arm for 15 reps have gone. I remember I have the video. 15 reps had 40 kilograms. On a first exercise, of course, but here's the second one, but even though here 32, so like it's almost 20-30% lighter and I'm not doing even the same reps. So of course, you know, I did not sleep very correctly, I'm not eating correctly, I'm not used to do those movements since a while. So all of that impact directly the progression, the performance, of course it does. But all the trainings I've done during the last few months should also impact my progression on a positive way that is much higher than the negative way the first factors I said are impacting me. So I don't know, I just feel so shit. I might just change fully my, my workout and put more... I might go back to doing some bench press in my workout. 
probably, and in some polyarticular movement like those with stabilization. Because so far my chest were always like machines, which is nice, but I guess I'm at least gonna try to get one that is not machine. Of course, I have the dips. I guess doing some one kind, one kind of branch dips and the rest machines. That's gonna be my chest uh, exercise selection for the future. So probably like uh, yeah, we we'll see. But for sure, dips I will keep going. Some good uh, bench press with dumbbells probably, and then we're gonna stick to the machines as well. But yeah, that sucks. Wasn't that great? Probably not the best pulley setup. Only four kilograms on the pulley, but trust me, on this pulley four is really heavy. We're gonna go for one side, one side. What a good stretch, contraction chest. This one is nice. Just try to gain more and do more reps by not having my arms straight. So I'm gonna have had more of my biceps. I'm focusing less on the chest, but I'm still working my chest. Okay, let's go for the other side. Honestly, that doesn't look like someone that cannot bench more than 3 reps at 80 kg in clench bench. I guess as a physical someone that could bench much more than what I'm actually benching. I love flexing when he's pumped. It's like he can feel his pumped and when you contract it, he can feel it like compressing something. And the more you compress, the more you feel like it's gonna explode, but the more so you enjoy. So it's really nice. Okay, I'll do one more of this side thing. Uh, kind of fly chest. And then I uh, will uh, see you for the... We're gonna do shoulders and then triceps quickly. Okay. Let's see if we can see the van popping up. I guess there is some of those. Ah! Ah! 
Not a big pick. <sighs> okay, chest done. Here it's better. Okay, shoulders. Okay, shoulder. We're gonna go with a raise this type of kilograms. Uh, 12, yeah, 12 kilograms. Four sets. Feels heavy for me. I haven't done that again since a lot, a long time. What I'm trying to do is go up and trying to hold it, hold it. Instead of just like going up and play it flat. So we're gonna see how the shortest plan goes. I have to. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Here, 12 kilogram. Then I'm gonna grab like five per hand and just more drop that for the last two sets and then we go on the triceps. And maybe at the end some push-ups to really max out the pump. You know what? Sometimes I miss training like that. So far, since four months when I went back to the gym, I started to train really hypertrophy, full size based, but like full size based. Maybe a logbook when you track everything, all the same. And I've done all that shit. But I feel like sometimes you just get biased, maybe even though it's like a good method to progress. There is a different method to progress. And I guess the method of, I train smart, but I don't put maybe too much to the weight. I just do the best I can do regarding my form, my shape of the day. It's also smart. Or you feel what you want to do. Because just the fact you will do an exercise you like because you haven't done it in a while, you will be more likely to go far and further in the import. Just because you enjoy it. Even though it's not the, word, the proper exercise, just because you enjoy it you will be able to push yourself further and therefore gain more gains than if you would have done a more optimal exercise but where because you like it you don't push yourself on it so i don't know maybe i will change a bit my program still keeping like four days a week but maybe having at least one drop set somewhere or having zero drop set so far it's not that bad actually but we'll see how it goes Let's do uh, the set I told you. Just gonna put the music. Okay. I just need the five, let's say. I'm gonna max out the pump. This is really heavy, 12 kilograms. It is. Even though much bigger than when I was feeling it's lighter. Ah! 
feel a bit like my arms were so heavy with the this long shoulder set. But I guess it doesn't look bad, but it's just pump. Being pumped is one of the greatest thing of feeling, I guess. I know, it's just like unexplainable how good it is to be pumped. It's like, I don't know, honestly, I can't describe it. People should do some philosophy on the pump. You know, they talk about happiness and stuff. They love psychology, philosophy. But does it, anyone have like written a book already about like 300 pages about the pump? They might do it. Just writing the pump. The best seller of the world for a few decades. 300 pages talking only about the pump. Imagine, I would buy it for sure. Okay, we're gonna go for triceps. Triceps, I feel like my arms are chest and pump and pumped are far away to be good. And arms are never arms for arms, I don't like it. I mean I mean sometimes I can like my arm pump, but most of the time I feel like I'm lacking of everything. And I guess you were, we were all are in the same situation, so we all stuck in this together. This pool is so heavy, it doesn't like, it's not a smooth movement over there. So it's really not smooth and nice to work with. Like, because it's just adding some resistance that you can't control. By the way, I was thinking that if you were wondering to know more about the story of my home gym, uh, that's like the push video. The video before should be like that. If you go check it out, I explain a bit more about my own gym, how I got it, why, stuff like that. But briefly, it just there was the coronavirus and no way, nowhere to work out. I was a student. I removed in my, in my living room, it's a, a student flat, so really small flat, and I put that. My flat was a bed, this, a kitchen, a desk to work, a bathroom, and just enough room to walk in it. That's a short story. All right. Not too heavy, 32 kilograms maybe. Maybe when I go slow, I control. That's of ribs. The bitch is not even aligned. There. Okay. Ah. 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 One more. Ah. After you did that one with like dumbbells, I find it much more healthy for my boat. Three more at least. Battery might. The camera is getting low battery. I might have three person left. I'm gonna try to keep it for the last pump check. <sighs> okay, let's see the pump. Let me turn out the music. Okay. Workout wasn't bad. What it's like to move the body, get the pump. And 
she had great on it. It was nice. Chest, first part of the chest workout, I did not like it because I was feeling weak. As you see, shoulder and knife, triceps were okay, but I like the single arm cable for the chest. This one was nice. So that's the physique right now after three days of Christmas, so without eating enough, without eating healthy, not enough protein, not enough carbs, probably not enough water, probably not a good sleep, but it's still okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, it's not bad. I'll see you later. Just gonna go up, charge the camera, and we do like a post workout talk in a few hours. Take care, I love you. Be a good person. See you soon. Here in France, it's so warm. It's Christmas, but compared to Oslo in Norway, it's really warm. Bah! Okay, that was great. Look at that, the field. Let me just turn off. Doesn't look great. There is no snow though, but it's not that bad.